Welcome back guys. Uh, today I'm taking a look at the new release of uh, Linux Mint XFCE. Now as you can see I've changed it a little bit um, and basically what I did is I um, tweaked the theme, the icons, the wallpaper and I added all of the um, uh, utility applications that I usually do. Uh, Redshift, Synapse, P-Sensor, Clipit, Caffeine. The install went beautifully. The uh, install of all of the packages that I've loaded have, has gone great. No issues at all. I did um, install Play on Linux and from Play on Linux I installed Hearthstone uh, I installed Steam, worked flawlessly. Now, I also installed the ICE SSB, which as you, as you can see here. And from that, I installed three uh, streaming, video streaming packages. One is Amazon uh, Prime, uh, which I'm using through Chrome. The, another is Netflix, which I installed through ICE and through Chrome. And because uh, ICE on Ubuntu doesn't include Firefox, the only way to run Hulu is through Firefox. And so what I did is basically all I did was um, I used ICE to do Netflix and Amazon and Hulu, I basically created uh, a launcher on my desktop <clears throat> with the Hulu icon, but it actually opens Firefox. So if I double click that, it opens Firefox and goes straight to um, Hulu. Now, I'm going to give um, Linux Mint a, a big, big, big plus because... Hulu does not run properly um, on any application that I've tried out of the box. I can usually make it run, but out of the box, Linux Mint XFCE is the first distribution that I've installed where Hulu worked in Firefox without me doing anything. All I did was update the um, the software. I updated the operating system, um, and that was it. <clears throat> so uh, then uh, Firefox comes pre-installed, and I all I did was sign into Hulu, and it worked fine. If I click on uh, play, um, it will play. I'll show you that. Now normally I have to install HAL and I'm going to close this out but normally I have to install HAL which in Ubuntu is not as easy as it sounds. There are lots of things that I normally have to do through codecs and uh, all, all kinds of different um, packages that I have to install in order to get Hulu to play in Firefox. Um, with the second easiest is Manjaro. With the Manjaro distribution, all I have to do is install HAL from Yawert, and normally Hulu will work fine. Uh, I've also gotten it to work. Um, finally got it to work in Debian and but again I have to jump through hoops to do that Linux Mint it worked right out of the box so that's that's tremendous absolutely tremendous um, the only other Ubuntu distribution that I uh, get it to work fairly easily through ice is peppermint six so 
the uh, the newest. This is the new commu what they call a community edition of um, Linux Mint. Right now, they have on the Linux Mint 17.3 Rosa. They have Cinnamon Mate XFCE, which is what I'm using. They also have the KDE edition. So uh, up till now, they only had Cinnamon and Mate, I believe. I think they've added XFCE and KDE. So uh, it's working fine. Uh, like I say, I tweaked it. Now, let me show you what I did to the theming. I, I added multiple themes. So let me go to the um, appearance. Uh, I'm running Blue Fear right now as far as the uh, theme. Um, and as you know, they, they give you quite a, a pretty good variety. Um, I installed a bunch of other ones, including um, Shimmer Project Raybird, um, Vertex, the Vertex themes, Vertex, Vertex Dock and Light. I added the New Mix theme, which I like. And so right now I'm running Blue Fear, which is the dark theme that I've been using lately. It's very, very nice. Now for icons, I'm using Fienza Darkest because the system tray icons show up really nice using that icon package. Um, however, you can uh, use one of the mint themes. Um, I usually like the aqua, but as you can see, if I click on that, you see the uh, system tray icons they're not, some of them sh are sh showing black, which you cannot make them out very well. Um, so that's why I like to use the icon packages that have an option for dark icons in the system tray. So there they are. So I can use darker, dark, darkest. Um, I also have the, uh, Evolvier uh, icons loaded and I do use those but for some reason they're not showing a hundred percent properly um, this the blue vivid dark fallback uh, and this one here so you can see this one here the blue folders vivid sunken dark fallback that one is also nice you can see you get the different folders they're blue and get the different icons in the panel and the system tray icons show up nicely so that's an option also and you can see the icons are much different especially in the categories they're uh, just kind of a black and white but it's very nice. Um, so either that or the Fienza Darkest, you can see the icons are quite different. So I did change the theming and also <clears throat> I changed the wallpaper. Um, I picked an Ubuntu wallpaper <clears throat> the default wallpaper is the standard uh, light gray Linux Mint. Uh, so I'm not a big fan of that one. So I usually change it. I'm sure most of you do also. Um, and so I usually go with, um, th there's this one here, which is relatively new. That's pretty nice. That one there is pretty nice. So <clears throat> I think I'll leave that one for now. <clears throat> but everything works fine right out of the box. As far as packages go, let's see. Accessories, I, I loaded up a lot. So, um, but all of the bases were covered. Um, but I loaded some accessories, Clip It, Redshift, Cherry Tree, um, let's see, and I, and I loaded Synapse, I loaded everything that I normally use, such as OBS Studio, which is what I'm using to make the video, and the uh, rest of the packages that come with 
uh, Linux Mint out of the box, all of the bases are covered, uh, but you're uh, free to, to load up whatever you need. I put in Kodi, I put in SM Player, OBS, Simple Screen Recorder, Banshee. So uh, I am extremely impressed with the XFCE version of uh, Linux Mint. Um, everything just works it's it's they do a lot of work you know I'm pretty impressed with all of the multimedia codecs that they have that make it easier for you to load up whatever you need such as the streaming packages anything that's music related video related so uh, Linux Mint 17.3 XFCE um, very nicely done so that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed it and uh i will see you soon take care